At the end of the long pavilion, past the elevators, you'll find a large painting by Mary Mitsuda. The imagery is an abstract pattern of rectangular shapes punctuated with splashes of color. We visited Mary in her studio in a small valley near Honolulu to talk about her technique. I don't use brushes because I just feel like I wanted to move the paint in different ways. And I found that when I used a brush, I tried to make things. And they were too small and, you know. So basically use these little uh, plastic scraper things in my hands and things like that. And then the way I move the paint tends to lead to this kind of segmented quality, which I like because it breaks up the picture, it breaks up the plane, and it suggests chronology, it suggests relationships that aren't really literally there. And it's sort of like if you look through a window that has panes, there it's broken up, and if you move, the information changes, and it makes a difference, you know, where you sit and how the outside is framed. I just wanted to suggest this kind of thing where things change as you move closer. Sometimes people see images and cartoons, and and that's the other thing. It has a cartoon-like kind of strip quality, cinematic. But at the same time, it's sort of nothing. It could be like a folded map. It's kind of based on folded maps and folded letters. I worked for a stamp collection for a long time, and I was really influenced by the folded letters. These were letters from the islands to the mainland relatives, and this was in the 1820s. I was very affected by the folded letters and the unfolding of the letters and the fact that they're just very beautiful documents. They're very irregular, but broken up by the same kind of lines.